Welcome back to another vlog. It's been quite some time since I uploaded a vlog. A lot of things have been going on. Just got home from work maybe about 20 minutes ago. It's 6.34. I usually come home, feed Max, which I already did off camera, and then I cook something. I've been obsessed lately with Trader Joe's. Tonight I'm going to be making mandarin orange chicken and i'm gonna make that with vegetable fried rice quick dinner delicious that's what's for dinner i have been let me pick up the sausages that fell out of the refrigerator i have been pretty ill <laughs> as usual for the past two weeks i've been on prednisone so i am hyper <laughs> but feeling fantastic fantastic i was in so much pain let me tell you what happened i went to get my shingle shot and pneumonia shot they gave it to me both the same day and that threw me into crisis yeah i was in crisis i don't know what happened but uh, my autoimmune disease started kicking up they did genetic testing and i'm waiting for the results because in fact they think i may have either lupus or rheumatoid arthritis where all along they were telling me i had psoriatic arthritis it's crazy 20 years of crazy and we're still we're still dealing with this or i'm still dealing with this but uh you guys know me i get depressed for a little while and then you know i go away and then i come back i come back because i'm like uh-uh <laughs> you're not getting rid of me that easy Peter Parker went to the supermarket and he uh, went to go get, you know, weekly groceries because this weekend we're painting the bathroom and he doesn't want to have to go out for anything. So pour sauce into microwave safe bowl. Okay. Yum e. God, thank you for the food we're about to eat. Thank Amen. you for blessing us with a meal some people don't have. And thank you for convincing Marta to make it. Love you, Marta. <laughs> I'm on the Major Deegan in the pouring rain, and I was doing 110 miles an hour. Good morning. Oh, I have a crying cat in the car. It's okay, Maxie. He gets very upset when he's going to go out. I have to actually take him to the animal hospital this morning. That's why I didn't really film last night. He wasn't feeling well. He was vomiting, not going to the bathroom. He's not eating. So I'm not sure what's going on with him. So we're going to take him to the vet now. It's 10.09. I have to be there by 10.30 and I am frazzled frazzled to say the least this is my baby you guys know if you've been following me for a while max is my son <laughs> i know baby it's okay you're with mama you he doesn't care all right let's go i have to be there at 10 30. waiting for the doctor right maxie that's a baby that's mama's boy Mama's baby, not feeling well. So I'm back home. Maxie has a little bit of a constipation problem. They did an x-ray just to make sure. And um, yeah, they saw it. He's having a hard time. They gave me uh, some stool softeners and also some pain medication. It's two o'clock Saturday. My day has not gone according to plan. I was gonna do so many things. My house is a hot mess. I've been working all week. And that's how it is sometimes. You know, you start off with a plan in mind and then things can go haywire and change in minutes, within minutes. So I'm just gonna relax for a little while because it's been a very stressful morning. I was really, really scared for Maxie. So that's that. I bought this faux plant that's quite dusty actually at 
Target. It's from the Studio McGee line. And it already comes in this planter pot. But I got a bigger one, this white one, at Marshall's for like 34 bucks. I thought it would look nicer and make more of a statement in this bigger pot. However, I went to Michael's and bought moss one day. And um, yeah, it wasn't enough to like cover all of this. And I've seen other people use the Spanish moss. So I bought a bag of it. I'm going to go ahead and fill that up with the moss just to uh, cover the fact that there's a pot inside of a pot. So let's see how that works. All right. This is crazy. Oh, but I think one bag is gonna be enough. Very messy. Actually think this is going to work. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, one bag was enough. One bag at Michael's was $9.99. Really love this plant from Studio McGee. It was very pricey, but it looks very, very real. So it was worth it, in my opinion. Good morning. It's Sunday. Hold on, let me prop you guys up. Oh. falling. That's better. I am eating my overnight oats from Trader Joe's. Maxi is much better. I was really very nervous. Last night was just like a complete eh. I didn't do anything once I got home from the vet. Uh, the most I did, as you saw, was fix my faux plant. And then after that, I just watched TV. I made a um, really quick dinner. Pete, on the other hand, has been very busy. He actually painted the bathroom and he is currently installing. Let me show you, hold on. He's getting ready to install this light fixture that I purchased on Wayfair. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures of the bathroom before or what the fixture looked like before. But um, this tile is like, I don't know, it's like a taupe color. And then they had like this ugly yellowy kind of color. So I just wanted like a clean slate, painted white. This bathroom may get a redo at some point. But for now, that's what I wanted to do. Just make it just make it a little nicer than it was. Um, I bought one of those, um, what do you call these? The cellular blinds for the bathroom, uh, which I think is a nice clean look. I bought these shelves from Target, which I love. And then the new light and a round black mirror for now. Yeah, that's what we're in the middle of doing. And my house looks like crazy, like crazy. <laughs> I'm eating my overnight oats. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I actually sanded this table. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just show you how I did this. I want it. I got my feezies on. These are fake easies. Comfortable for doing housework. This is our coffee table, and I really don't like how dark it is you know I have a dark couch and now a dark table I'm gonna try and sand it if it doesn't work out then I have to buy a new one but we're gonna try this first
right, well, it's taken me quite some time. And I did spray this with a little bit of bleach, but this is what we've got so far. I like it so far. It looks way better in my opinion than the way it looked before. I just I couldn't hang with it. It was just too dark. I sprayed bleach on it, like I said. We'll wait for it to dry. Do we have bulbs for that? I think we do. Okay, so I have to go to Home Depot to buy some bulbs. And then maybe I'll go to Trader Joe's. What are you talking about? Those are two different bulbs? Unbelievable. It took five guys and this is what I get. And they're yellow. Yeah. Where's the receipt? Super quick Trader Joe's haul. My Trader Joe's is very small and um, these are the things that I was able to get my hands on that I love. The tomato feta soup, love this. Chicken fried rice. This makes a very, very quick and easy dinner. I also love their vegetable fried rice. And I like making it with the mandarin orange chicken. Um, I bought two bags this time because one bag is not enough. Breaded fried ravioli. I'm going to try this in the um, air fryer. Now, this I actually have never tried. Some cucumber chicken and chimichurri empanadas there's two in a box and they are delicious the non-dairy oat creamer the brown sugar non-dairy oat creamer is my new favorite i bought three of them um i love this with my iced coffee especially not so much my hot coffee believe it or not but iced coffee oh this is amazing the uh, french brioche sliced bread which we love around here uh, a few jalapenos for tonight's soup. I'm making a chicken tortilla soup in the crock pot. I left that cooking, so I'm going to use this to put in there with some sour cream, and oh, it's going to be so good. Spinach tortellini. This is a fave. Plantain crisps. These are delicious chips, and I feel like I'm eating something healthy. I don't know. I mean, they're plantains. <laughs> Avocados and two Harvest salad with um, grilled chicken. Both of these are for work. Very, very filling and very delicious. It comes with um, Dijon dressing and everything. Egg. Oh, God, it's just so good. And that's it. I didn't buy a lot today. make myself an iced coffee but I just want to show you I stopped in to Marshall's for a minute and I found this so appropriate for the season a little spider web six 
dollars on clearance. So don't mind the mess in my kitchen. <laughs> oh, how cute is that? Don't look at my pot, it's dirty. The other thing I found at Marshall's, and this was $7.99. I've been meaning to buy a handheld milk frother. Um, I'm not much into Ray Dunn anymore, but it was $7.99. So I figure it's, it's great for when I'm making matcha or when I want to just do a really quick froth and not have to use my Nespresso. I have an espresso frother, but sometimes I just don't want to like set the whole thing up. So this is great. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by Delicious And then when you have to relive something that's maybe sad or just emotions you probably don't want to go back to It's really hard and it's hard to hear everyone's opinion mm -hmm. 